Today we are remodeling a laundry space with a complete demo. The floor was rotted and needed to be repaired. My name is Kimmy and you'll also see Erin in this video. We hope that you would subscribe and that you like this mobile home extreme budget remodel. And without further ado, we're going to show you the before clips and then we're going to get into this video. I will be showing you step by step tips on what we did in case that you have an area in your mobile home that also needs the floors replaced. Step one is to clean everything out. Step two is to remove the appliances. Step three was to cut out any excess linoleum. We are going to leave some of it that is not curled up, but everything that is curled up was being cut out. Use a reciprocating saw to cut out the hole and if necessary, you can drill a small hole in the wood so that you have a better use of your reciprocating saw. All of the tools will be linked in the first comment of this video, so check down below for that. The next step is to discard any rotted pieces of wood. You may find using a hammer or a sledgehammer helps out a lot in breaking away all the rotted pieces of wood that you need to discard. Use a pry bar to break the wood off of the edges where the staples will be. We will get to the staples later on and it is important to wear gloves. We just didn't have any on hand. But now it is time to remove the staples. First, I just used the back of the hammer, but that was not working so well. So the easiest way we found to do this was to use a wrench and a pry bar. And you will lock the wrench into place where the staple is and then use your pry bar to pull it up and out.
And now Erin is measuring out a piece of plywood to see how much we need for the space. We also added support beams in place as you can see here for when we are ready to put the new piece of wood in. We are using a Ryobi circular saw to cut out the shape. It is now time to put the piece of plywood into place and then screw it down. We are using Traffic Master Peel and Stick Vinyl. These are 24 planks, 6 inches by 36 inches, and we're using the gray ash, as you see here, that we have in our kitchen. And we are going to cover the existing flooring with the new flooring just directly on top. Our suggestion for paneling walls, especially walls with a wallpaper, is to use an eggshell finish. We got the Ultra Interior Paint by Valspar Base B, and it is in the shade Storm Cloud. This is a very nice bluish gray tone, and it is wonderful to use for washing your walls and then it is time to replace the appliances and show you before and afters hopefully you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new thank you so much if you are returning and we are just so grateful and thankful that our floor is now replaced and we can walk on it and it's safe and uh, here is everything. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and gave you lots of tips. And um, we will see you back here in the next one. Bye.